The Furry Fandom. What the hell is it? Well, allow me to explain. The Furry Fandom is a community of people who take interest in anthropomorphic animals. Don't butcher me on pronouncing the anthropomorphic. I think it's pronounced that way. But what's an anthropomorphic animal, you ask? Well, an anthropomorphic animal is an animal that consists of humanoid characteristics. Hence the title, anthropomorphic animals, right? Basically, they can stand like humans, they can walk like humans, they can speak like humans, they can interact like humans, and they can freak like humans. It's a pretty straightforward concept. That's what an anthropomorphic animal is. That's what furries are into. Some popular furries go by the name of Jira Strawberry, Nas Hyena, Pyrocynical, and J Schlatt. Believe me, those are just a couple. There's plenty more out there. Now let's dive a little deeper. What is a furry and what does a furry do? Well, let me explain. So a furry is somebody, like I said, who someone who likes anthropomorphic animals, right? So they'll create their own anthropomorphic animal character that they identify with, identify with a furry persona, better known as a fursona. They figure out what they want their fursona to look like, what they want their fursona's name to be, what they want their fursona's species to be, what they want their fursona to like or dislike. It goes on from there. What's the next step? Well, they'll start getting art commissioned of their fursona, a reference sheet or other artwork. So here's my reference sheet of my persona as, well, a reference. As you can see, has his name, has his species, has the colors of fur, has the color of his eyes, the color of his wings, everything. So what I would do is use this to send to other artists who I commission for artwork so they know what they're working with. Here's some artwork of my persona right here. He's wearing a Limp Biscuit shirt here in this one. He's just grinning in this one. And he's wearing a sugar shirt in this one. So they have their fursona made, and they have a reference sheet or artwork made of their fursona. What's the next big step for a furry? Well, either get a fursuit or go to a furry convention. Now, just to be completely clear here, you don't have to have a fursuit to be a furry. I don't have a fursuit yet, but I still consider myself to be a furry, just so you know. And also, you don't need a fursuit to get into a furry convention. So you could either get a fursuit, then go to a convention, or go to a convention, and then get a fursuit. Again, you don't have to have a fursuit to be a furry. So that's a furry in a nutshell. They make their own furry persona, their fursona, they get art made, and then they go to a convention, or they get a fursuit made. That's a furry for you. With that out of the way, let's get to the next chapter that I call Why the Hate? Why is the furry fandom hated so much? Why does it get so much hatred online? Well, there's two reasons I found. Let's get into it. The first reason is because, well, from time to time, furries tend to be exposed as bad people or they're exposing themselves as bad people, like a or whatever, whatever it may be. I'm going to give three examples right now. The person I'm going to use here, I'm not going to say their name because they like to copyright strike people who criticize them that have a smaller sub count than them. But anyway, they were in a group chat on Telegram that was dedicated to Z and if you don't know what that is, it's a disgusting f focused on using and or animals. It was all leaked on Twitter and they try to defend themselves, but the evidence is completely stacked against them and they can never come up with a reasonable defense. It's either I was hacked or I got away on a technicality. It was a big mess because they had a lot of subscribers and they had a lot of fans and now, it, you know, they were outed as a It's awful. Another example of this is Hypnotist Sappho. Now, you probably know who she is. She is, unfortunately, a pretty popular name now. She's a furry who has attempted to normalize being sexually attracted to children and animals. I don't think I need to say any further. She considers herself to be as and not as and that are much better. That's some serious delusion. The third and final example I'm going to give is someone named Quantum Kitty. This guy is like the male version of Hypnotist Sappho. He think he pretty much justifies the same thing with animals. He has admitted to doing awful things with animals. And on the bright side, he was arrested. I don't think he's in jail still, but he does have a record now. It's terrible people like this who paint this awful picture for the whole community. There's people out there who are just there to cosplay, have fun, and enjoy each other's company, and then these people come in and sort of become the face of the entire furry fandom, and it's completely, completely unfair. If you want more info on a couple of the people I talked about, there's links in the description. Now, I know that part was dark, but I can't make this video and sit here and say that these people don't exist, because they do. But now let's get on to the next reason people hate furry so much, and it's a lot more lighthearted, I promise. The other reason why people hate furries so much is because they have, they're they very cringy. Furries have this natural God-given ability to be incredibly mega turbo ultra super supreme cringe. They managed to plumb levels of cringe science didn't think was possible. Those are the two main reasons I found people hate furries so much because from time to time they're outed as bad people or they're just incredibly cringy. But please, don't let these things deter you from being interested in the furry fandom because there's a lot more good than bad. There's a lot of fun people and a lot of fun events to be found within the furry fandom as long as you look in the right places. Don't focus on the bad, focus on the good. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe and comment. It means a lot to me. And thanks for watching. I'll see you later.